Ah, Palutena, a divine beauty, a glimmering goddess, an honest top tier. What, you don't think so? Okay, let's be real. It's no secret that Palutena is one of the most complained about characters in competitive Smash Ultimate. Search Palutena on any major social media platform and you're bound to find someone hating on her. But as a character that doesn't rely on many gimmicks or tricks, what is it about Palutena that makes Smashers so salty? Before we find out, you should check out ProGuides.com for all sorts of competitive Smash resources. You can take advantage of our Pro Pass to get access to top coaches and study our various Smash courses featuring pros like MKLeo and Esam. Now, on with the video. Debuting in the original Kid Icarus, Palutena established herself as a benevolent goddess dedicated to aiding Pit on his adventures. Her first playable appearance in Smash came in Smash 4, representing her Kid Icarus uprising design. Sadly, Palutena was not competitively viable in Smash 4. With custom special moves banned in tournaments and her lacking frame data, Palutena fell into the bottom 15 on the final Smash 4 tier list. Smash Ultimate, however, made tons of important changes to buff Palutena. For starters, the overall reduction in aerial landing lag implemented in Ultimate was especially helpful to Palutena, allowing her already useful aerials to shine even brighter. Additionally, Palutena's special moves were adjusted, borrowing her explosive flame from her Smash 4 custom moves to act as her new side special, and pairing her lackluster reflect with her counter, resulting in a down special that both counters melee attacks and reflects projectiles. Palutena's air and ground movement, as well as her recovery, were already particularly strong in Smash 4, and these strengths carried over very well into Ultimate. So what strengths of Palutena are bothering players the most? Let's start with her neutral air. Palutena's Nair is a multi-hit move that twirls her staff covering the space around her. At low percents, this move is an amazing combo starter that leads to tons of damage. Palutena can take most characters from 0% to at least 40% off of one Nair, regardless of the eye. The first Nair is extended with multiple subsequent Nairs, and then can be followed up with a fair, back air, or up air. On stages with platforms, she can connect two up airs for even more damage. Given its large and disjointed hitboxes, Palutena's Nair is a fantastic anti-air that makes it scary to jump around her at any percent. Speaking of percents, the incredible knockback growth on Nair allows it to go from a combo move to a KO move, taking stocks at around 150. This KO power becomes more relevant close to the blast zone, as Palutena can edgeguard reliably with neutral air. Palutena players will simply jump off stage and descend with a Nair in the path of the opponent's recovery, and the highly active disjoints are very likely to catch most recoveries. The low end lag on her Nair coupled with her far-traveling recovery allow Palutena to go very deep off stage with this move with little risk. Nair's amazing utility doesn't end there. It's also a fairly useful out of shield option, allowing Palutena to punish laggier moves on her shield as well as opponents who try jumping after hitting it. Because of its long active frames, Nair can also be used as a ledge trapping tool, allowing Palutena to cover jumps and rolls with a single option. Palutena's Nair is probably the strongest single contributor to her common criticism as being a brain-dead character, given that players at lower levels or with little matchup experience can easily get caught by a Palutena nonchalantly spamming Nairs and take tons of damage. Even at higher levels, Nair's ability to start such consistent early percent combos make it an amazing tool that helps solidify Palutena as one of the best characters in Smash Ultimate. With proper understanding, however, you'll learn that a Palutena spamming Nairs without a lot of skill can be very exploitable. Despite its remarkable strengths, Nair is actually very whiff punishable. If a Palutena jumps at you with a Nair, you can position yourself just out of its range and swoop in to punish her landing lag. Any fast option will do the trick, but grab is a pretty safe bet here. Alternatively, you can also run in and shield a Palutena Nair. Nair is not safe on shield if spaced poorly, and you can easily shield grab it or punish with any fast out of shield option you may have. Getting a bit more advanced, you can also bait Palutena to Nair in the first place. Palutena players with more experience won't just throw out random Nairs as an approach, but if they see opponents who like to jump towards them a lot in neutral, they'll be much more likely to Nair. When you start a match against Palutena, first assess whether or not they're going to charge in with a brain-dead Nair, and if they don't, you may want to start jumping to entice them. Jump towards the Palutena player once or twice, for example, then fade back and see if they take the bait and whiff a Nair. Now, neutral air is certainly not Palutena's only strength, nor is it the only thing about her that gets players salty. Palutena's back air and dash attack are also quite notable. These moves are both performed with the shield the Palutena carries, and because of this, they give her invincibility around the hitboxes. 
This allows Palutena to safely contest just about anything with either of these attacks. As a result, Dash Attack becomes an amazing option for trapping landings, which is even better because it becomes a KO option at higher percents. Back Air is an excellent edgeguard option and wins basically any air-to-air -air situation, likewise forcing players to respect this option rather than challenge it. Back Air is also considerably strong and safe on shield, making it one of her better KO options. Palutena's ability to outprioritize so much with these moves is another factor that leads players to become frustrated with the matchup, feeling that they can't contest her in any situation. Between neutral air, back air, and down air? Oh yeah, we didn't talk about down air. Down air is among the fastest spikes in the game, has a pretty reliable hitbox, and also KOs very early. Don't stay underneath Palutena offstage. But anyway, with these great aerials, Palutena makes it scary enough to be offstage. But even for characters who can recover past all of them, she has another, arguably more broken option. Down tilt. Palutena's down tilt swings her staff in a spiral on the ground in front of her. Because of its long active frames and low hitboxes, this move is one of the best, if not just straight up the best, at two framing in the game. For those who don't know, whenever you grab the ledge from below, there's a window of usually two frames where your character can be hit before their ledge invincibility starts. Normally, two framing a recovery requires tons of precision, but with Palutena's down tilt, she can swing with a vague estimation of when the opponent will grab ledge and still have a decently high chance of catching the two frame on most recoveries. Cool, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's fine, yeah. What? Down tilt can also combo into fair or back air at some percents, even potentially leading to a KO. Needless to say, the effortlessness with which Palutena can punish recoveries makes this yet another factor that makes players rage in this matchup. In some situations, there isn't much you can do about the down tilt, but you can consider recovering in a way that either doesn't grab ledge or mixes up the timing. And you can also hold away at the moment you'd grab ledge to DI out on the down tilt and make a follow up harder. Speaking of two frames, Palutena is ironically one of the most susceptible to them herself. Unless she recovers from above the ledge, her warp up special can be very easily two framed by any hitbox placed near the ledge. This is a crucial tactic for fighting Palutena at higher levels and you can even practice it in training mode. As mentioned before, Palutena's new side special is Explosive Flame. Explosive Flame spawns a multi-hit ball of fire at either close or long range, depending on the left stick input. This move can be comboed into, out of, and also KOs at average kill percents, making it risky to camp or run away against Palutena. She can also use Explosive Flame to pressure offstage opponents from a safe distance, often forcing an air dodge or jump. Palutena's ability to cover great distances with a large, deadly projectile makes her neutral and advantage state even more suffocating, yet safer. Being extremely safe in general is one of Palutena's strongest attributes. We mentioned earlier that her back air is safe on shield, and her forward air is even safer. With extremely low landing lag, decent range, and even a slight disjoint, Palutena's fair is arguably her most reliable spacing tool, allowing her to play a reactive neutral and poke away at shields. Although it doesn't have quite the reward of landing a nair, falling forward air is also a combo starter, leading to explosive flame, dash attack, and grab in corresponding percent ranges. There's plenty to say about Palutena's grab too. Her standing grab is tied for the second fastest in the game and has among the most range of any non-tether standing grab. This makes it particularly tricky to space low range moves on Palutena's shield as they're more likely to be within her shield grab's reach. This also lets Palutena cover neutral getups from ledge from a greater and safer distance. Not only is Palutena good at finding a grab, but she gets great reward off of it as well. At low percents, and basically any percent for that matter, Palutena can combo a down throw into a forward air. At kill percents, she can go for down throw back air, which is true on opponents with poor DI or slow air dodges and creates 50-50 scenarios on characters who are able to air dodge out. Palutena's back throw is also a strong kill throw at ledge. As one more miscellaneous strength, Palutena's up air is also disjointed, has combo potential, and KOs pretty early. Overall, Palutena has effortless and consistent early percent combos, a safe neutral, powerful disjoints and invincibility frames that allow her to contest opponents in many situations, and a variety of ways to close out stocks. These factors all lead to Palutena not only being a very effective character, but a character whose primary strengths don't require the most effort to achieve their basic reward, and we think this is what bothers players the most. Even so, most newer players tend to be annoyed by things they simply are unfamiliar with and don't know how to counterplay, and at mid-levels, players tend to give too much credit to a move itself and not recognize the tactics their opponent employs to land that move on a wary player. 
So while we agree that Palutena is definitely a broken character, we urge you to study the matchup and do everything you can to understand and work around her strengths. If so, you can take on any Palutena player who relies only on their character's abilities and put your skills head-to-head -head with those who understand the game more deeply. What character makes you salty? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to Pro Guides and click the notification bell to make sure you never miss out on our daily uploads.